The drag show featuring people with Down syndrome has a new home and it has sold out, making a second show necessary. But despite the seeming success there, organizers say the fact that the show was kicked out of its original home by the building's owner, Peter Meyer, is a civil rights violation. News 8's Barton Dieters is in studio control, breaking down the complaint. Barton? Well, Brian and Sue, the complaint states that the decision by Meyer fails to recognize the ability of people with disabilities to make their own choices. Mr. Meyer singled out these group of performers because of their diagnosis of Down syndrome and assumed that they lacked the capacity to, to understand about performing drag and the ability to consent. The ACLU complaint states that Meyer knew that the evidence showed these performers had the ability to make an informed decision and consent, but chose to ignore it in making his decision to ban the performance. Since 2016, Dis Art has been working with Art Prize and Project One artist Paul Amenta and architect Ted Lott to build the handicap accessible venue at the 135 year old former flypaper factory, the Tanglefoot Building. Meyer owns the building and says he became aware of drag syndrome just before canceling. Meyer is also a candidate for the Republican nomination for the seat now held by independent U.S. Representative Justin Amash. But Meyer denies that politics plays any part in his decision. And if there's an even one in a million chance of exploitation, I think that's too high of a risk to take. And that's not something that I can support. But the ACLU says Meyer can't just pick and choose which people he will allow. It is indeed his building, but he's opened it to the public. He seems to have a problem with the idea of performing drag or that people with Down syndrome should not be performing drag. And um, that raises issues uh, about gender stereotyping. Organizers say the harm is in the message that people with Down syndrome can't make the decision to perform in this event. Uh, to make sure that any person with a disability uh, who has the express uh, interest and, and desire to perform uh, artistically, that they have the right to do so. Now, Seven, we look at the Tanglefoot venue and how this controversy is impacting the artists there. In Studio Control, Barton Dieters, News 8.